you had uh, many famous uh, pipers went through the College of Piping, didn't you? Aye, quite a uh, few. Can you recall any names well, uh, at this time? Now, we boy came from the school. What's the name of the school? It's not a school now. Quite near. And uh, he turned out to be quite a good player later on. And unfortunately, he died. Oh, gosh, what's his name? You're not talking about Dr. John, are you? Oh, aye, John. John McCaskill. Aye, Dr. John, <coughs> John McCaskill. McCaskill. I remember uh, John, he came along to the college about, say, 12 years of age. So, aye, so I remember 12. Us. Yes, and, and he was, oh, he was, he was a good player eventually. But uh, he, he's a funny guy. And of course, he went, uh, <coughs> he kind of came and went a bit. Anyway, he, uh, in fact, I went to see him not long before he died. And, there's a doctor up in Oban, eventually. No, uh, sorry, Fort Rogan, Fort Rogan, Fort Rogan, <coughs> yeah. Anyway, I went to see him uh, just not long before he died. Well, he was 59 years of age, if I recall correctly. But he had, <coughs> uh, he, he had uh, being a doctor, he should have known better. He, he just had a very, you know, Aye. kind of daft life. Very keen in football. Aye. Mad football. I was the sports uh, doctor yes, of the Scottish right. football team as well. That's right. Yes. But he played the uh, lovely P when I said good composed, good say, good composed a, a lot of good uh, tunes. Aye, Lexi McCaskill. Yeah. I folk think that's an easy tune. Oh, I don't know. To get the double E's in it. Aye, the, the, <coughs> most of his tunes were fairly oh, tricky. Aye, no, you know. no, he's a good composer. Uh, do you remember Evan Mackay? Very much so. I played at his funeral. Uh, he uh, ended up in Hong Kong. Yes, Hong Kong. In the police in Hong Kong. I know. I, I, uh, Evan I, was about these uh, this place for a long, long time. Uh, I don't know. Evan was. Uh, he joined the police for a wee while, and then he went to Hong Kong. Is that his mother, the Delina Mackay? Delina Mackay, yes. Is she composed was, after. Yes. Yeah. She was the secretary to the SPA for a long time. Yes. And uh, oh, she's a lovely woman. And the Scottish Pipers Association still meets in here. Yes. And yes. they have the, the, the piping uh, evening in here yes, once a month. Uh, we had a great one last day, uh, a week ago on Saturday, yeah. which was uh, really in memory of Don McPherson. Yes. And his wife was here now with a wonderful concert. That was under the auspices of the SPA. SPA. Yes. Oh, and the uh, earlier that day <coughs> had the SPA competition. Yes. There. In a way, that was a pity because uh, a lot of the folk obviously had been at the competition and when they went home and said that uh, they just didn't come out. But we had a good attendance, but it would have been better if that competition hadn't been on that day. Yeah. Because people would come and attend all day. But it was a good standard that day, though. Oh, a good competition, but mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, the concert at night was excellent. Aye. And you do quite a few concerts here too? Yes, I would do one or two. And it's, a, it's a great place because the pipers can be tuned up and they can just be ready to go on. Go on and play without That's, tuning on yeah. the platform, yeah. So, uh, that's the College of Piping now, you're in uh, your third premises over years, over the history. Yes, we are, but well, it's fourth because we were in, the, I don't know if you remember, the old building here. It was dreadful. Ah, yeah, it was old up in the tenements. Yes. And it had been a, a joiner's shop, uh -huh. mainly for shop fitting things. And uh, we got it from, again, from the red tackle for a hundred pounds. Yeah. But we had to do a lot to it. And uh, the, the, the deal was that uh, once we left, we would uh, get hundred pounds back. And also we would be paid for any improvements we made. It had to do the roof. But it was, it was a very old building, older than the tenements around. Mm -hmm. And with the coal seams below, there was subsidence. And uh, the lintels were all just big timber lintels, and they were going. And the place should have been condemned. Mm -hmm. Anyway, then once we got over the kind of the wee fallout with the, the new folk, 
we decided, James was quite happy to not make the move and so was I and so we stayed here. And as I say, I took over for three and a half years. Mm -hmm. Did the piping time and everything. But then <coughs> I kept looking and I realised that, you know, can't go into old age trying to do this. So we reckoned that at last we had to take on someone and pay them uh -huh. to do the job. And uh, in a very good ground everywhere, abroad as well. And uh, Rab was about the only one who had the journalism. So that's activity. Robert Wallace. And uh, he's now the principal and he's editor of the Piping Times. That's right. And uh, <coughs> he's employed by yeah. those of us who are directors. Okay. Uh, but the, the Piping Times are a very, very successful magazine over the years, eh? Yes, I... No, no, it went well. <coughs> No, it was it was good. It was good. And there's some if you go back, there's some great articles that we Yes. So thanks very much eh, for your time here today, the old day. Uh, Not at all. I'll give, I'll give you the uh, this is a thing I did for the Beaver Society, which is the history of the College of Pipes. Yes. And uh, you know probably useful if you want to. Okay. Uh, I'm just wondering, off the top of my head, if it was possible uh, for us to put this online that the uh, folk could access. Oh yes, okay. Uh, and they uh, would they acknowledge uh, yourself, of yes. course, uh, oh, well, you know, and that, all that sort of stuff. So, um, in due course of time, people, uh, we will endeavour between the College of Piping and Piper's Persuasion to put these uh, very valuable papers online for you to look at. And in the meantime, thanks very much to Dougal McNeil for his time, for the history of the College of Piping and for comments on the People's Society. Thank you.